Hello, I'm Martin Smith, and this is your Maxiforex Week in Review. Today, we'll cover some of the major financial events of the past week and discuss how they impact the global currency markets. But first, let's look at last week's risers and fallers. The Eurodollar pair performed decently during the week, except on Friday. The pair gained just about 0.3% and was last traded at 141.58. The British pound had a mixed performance against the US dollar. The pair gained 0.22% and closed at 162.27. The US dollar made a decent performance against the Japanese yen this week. The pair managed to finish the week trading at 81.68, a gain of 1.14%. The dollar CAD had a mix, oh, a decent week overall. The pair gained 0.55% and closed on Friday at 97.37. Taking a look at commodities, gold had a decent week. By the close of Friday trading, the pair ended up moving up 113%, closing at $1,511.55 an ounce. Meanwhile, April crude orders had a mixed performance, surging 1.02% gain on Friday. The orders were last trading at $99.95 a barrel at the close of Friday. In the headlines this week, Latin American currencies traded mixed against the US dollar. This Friday, as we saw fluctuations in price and also growing concern over increased interest rates in the United States. Expensive borrowing costs will certainly decrease returns, which the investors have put in keeping roughly zero interest U.S. loans for buying the currencies and securities in Latin American nations, where the rates are way ahead, a bet known as the carry trade. The delays in moving up the U.S. rates would permit the trade to go on, which has helped Latin American currencies to improve dramatically against the dollar. Roberto Padovani said in Sao Paulo that without any clear agreement over the matter of rates, they are unable to decide over how this will pay out. He also stated that many people have underestimated the risk in the case of Brazil and Latin America of the increased rates in the US. After a swinging trade this Friday, the South American currencies such as Brazil's Real, the Mexican and Chilean Pesos, and Peru's Sol have performed really well. But Colombia and Argentina's pesos have performed, haven't performed as well compared to last week. In Europe, the euro dipped against the US dollar on Friday over the recent worries about the Greek debt, which has lowered global stocks. Although even the dollar performed better as against the euro, copper prices declined a bit on Chinese inventories, whilst oil prices recovered well from early losses in the uneven trading. On the other hand, gold inched higher. Reports indicate that Norway has suspended payment of its $42 million grant to Greece because it failed in its bailout commitments. This started a sell-off in the euro. There were rumors that Finland will also suspend its payments. According to a Greek newspaper, the IMF has suspended its review case of Greece until the government takes further action. Now there will be more delay in the payment of much-needed IMF funds for Greece. As the news of the EU IMF Greek bailout plan came in, it almost deflected concerns over Spain's forthcoming regional election, which will be held this weekend. The Spanish bond yield grew as election results may damage Prime Minister Zapatero's capability to negate Spain's own economic shortfall. Canada's dollar took a dip this weekend and government bond prices climbed higher as poor retail sales and inflation data lessened hopes that the Bank of Canada will increase interest rates. While the Bank of Canada increased rates up to three times in the previous year, it has still managed to stay on the sidelines since last September as it tracks the progress of the economy. John Curran, Canada's Vice President, stated that while ongoing Canadian dollar strength, even at this stage, and with the economic environment portraying benign data, the Bank of Canada shouldn't look forward to anything. Well, that's all we have time for today. We hope you enjoyed our weekly review and will join us next week. Until then, be sure to visit us at maxiforex.ru.